Hello everyone. Welcome back to this series on what tests should be done for a person with diabetes. We have already seen about the role of the liver and other tests in previous videos. Today I am going to talk about the kidney. Kidney function is extremely important and something which needs to be assessed periodically in people with diabetes. Now to assess the kidney, it is not just one test that we do, but a series of tests. So let me try to explain what these tests are, so that when you next look at your results, you will be able to see what is the meaning and the interpretation of these various tests. The first thing that happens when diabetes affects the kidney is that there is a leak of a small amount of what we call as albumin in the urine. The earliest that you can detect is what is called as microalbuminuria. The amount of albumin which is normally present in the urine for a non-diabetic person is very very small. It can, it can be 4 milligrams or 5 milligrams. We call it as microgram per milligram of creatinine. You can just remember it as milligram for easy purposes. Now, if that value starts increasing from say, normally it's below 10. So suppose it starts increasing to 10, 12, 14, already there are changes probably occurring in the kidney. The cutoff point we keep for normal is 30. So if the microalmuria is below 30, it's usually normal. Although very rarely does a person without diabetes have microalmuria even above 10 or 15. But if it crosses 30, we say that it's no longer normal. That is the stage of normal albuminuria has been crossed and now you are in the stage of microalbuminuria. So this microalbuminuria refers to a value of albumin in the urine between 30 to 300. So suppose you find in your test having 45, 50 and so on, you have microalbuminuria. The good news is that at the stage of microalbuminuria, the kidney is completely reversible by good control of blood sugars, blood pressure and by taking specific medicines to reverse the microalbuminuria. Next time when you come, we may be able to tell you, oh, the microalbuminuria has gone away and your kidney has become normal. If we don't control it at that stage, then the microalbuminuria then goes to the next stage of what we call as macroalbuminuria where the albumin excretion is more than 300 milligrams per day and at that stage it becomes increasingly difficult to reverse it and bring it back to normal. But in the microalmuria test you will find once it grows above 350, we just say above 350, greater than 350. Then we have to measure the protein content in the urine. Normally that you will find another test called as expected protein excretion or PC ratio, you will find another test in your results. That is normally less than 200 per day, milligrams per day. But if that becomes 300, 500, 800, now the protein can be measured even in grams. So it can be 1000 milligrams, whether it's one gram or two grams, some people come with five grams, eight grams, 10 grams and so on. This means that the kidney is quite badly damaged. You're leaking lots of protein, lots of albumin, and at that stage, it's very difficult to reverse it. But still, the kidney function has still not started deteriorating. You're just leaking protein, but if you look at the blood urea and the serum creatinine, the two tests you'll find again in our kidney function reports, those two will be normal. The normal creatinine is less than one milligram, and the normal urea is, let's say, below uh, 40 milligrams. So if these are normal, your creatinine is still 0.8, it is still a functioning kidney, although it's a leaking kidney. That means it's damaged, but it's still working well. At the next stage, what happens is the creatinine starts going up 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Now, as the creatinine goes up, it means that your kidney function has started coming down. For example, uh, if your kidney, if your serum creatinine is 2 milligrams, it means that roughly only 50% of your kidney is functioning. For this, we have a formula what we call as the EGFR or the estimated glomerular filtration rate. The EGFR tells you roughly how much of your kidney is functioning. 
the normal value is above 60. So if you get an EGFR in your report, 60, 80, 90, 100, it means that it's completely normal. Anything above 60, 70 can be considered normal for a person above 40 or 50 years of age. Uh, ideally, it should be about 90. But suppose it starts going down. Now the report comes as EGFR is only 50 or the EGFR is only 45 or 40. It means that your kidney function has started going down. Now it's very important to know this because we have to give the treatment, we have to increase the treatment, we have to more aggressively treat the blood pressure, the blood sugar and all the other parameters so that the kidney function decline which normally happens is halted or even reversed. Now all these, you know the, uh, the proverb, a stitch in time saves nine. So if you don't detect this early, we won't know until the kidney function is completely damaged. I, I remember a teacher of mine once came to consult me. He was a surgeon and what happened was that he had some ulcer in his leg and only then he detected that he had diabetes. And when I asked him, when did you get diabetes? He said, just now, one week ago I got it. Looking at his leg, I knew that it cannot be one week. When the kidney function report came, actually his kidney was almost 40-50% damaged. And unfortunately, within a couple of years, we lost him. He died. Although he went for dialysis and transplantation, later on he died. Now the tragedy is that even being a doctor, being my teacher, being a professor, he had not detected his diabetes, nor he had found out that he had kidney function until more than 50% of his kidney was damaged. This is why every time you come to us, normally we call you about once in three months, four months. So every time you come, we make sure that the kidney function test is done properly. Now you may say, I've done it in another lab, then why are you asking us to do it? Very often the labs vary in their normal values. The lab may not have done it properly. They may not be doing it the way we want it to be done. And therefore, if you depend on some other lab, you may be the loser. So we may end up giving you a wrong treatment. For example, if there is microalmuria, if the creatinine starts going up, certain diabetic medicine should not be given. Certain BP tablets should not be given. You should definitely avoid medicines like painkillers and so on. So the whole treatment, the prescription you're going to write is dependent on the test that we do. So now you know why we are so particular about checking your kidney function tests. Now, apart from the blood urea, serum creatinine, EGFR, microalmuria, PC ratio test and so on, there are other tests for the kidney. For example, if we do an ultrasound of the kidney, we can see the kidney size. So we'll know whether the kidney has begun to shrink in size or whether the kidney is still of a normal size. We'll also know whether there's any stone or any other obstruction whether anything in the bladder is there, whether prostate is normal, so many other things we'll be able to tell. Even a simple test like a urine test, finding out what protein is there in the urine or whether there's any cast in the urine or red blood cells in the urine, pus cells in the urine, all these give us a lot of information about the kidney. So a kidney function test is not just one test, it's a series of five to six tests using which we'll be able to accurately find out how your kidney is performing. The whole idea is to see that even if you have diabetes, you should have a long and healthy life. Many of my patients have finished 40, 50, 60 years of diabetes. They have gone on to live up to 90, 95, even 100 years of age and their kidney function is still normal. I want every one of you who's watching this video and who has diabetes to belong to that class and to say, I also had diabetes for 60, 70 years. I have now lived up to 9,500 years of age and my kidneys are absolutely normal. That is the idea behind making this video and teaching you all about the various tests. So bye for now.